Oh, hi there, everyone. Welcome to another Trevor's Terrarium here at Geektopia Island. I'm Cardwell. And I'm Kevin. And that's Trevor. Today, we have a fun little straight, super straightforward deck. But guess what? It's not black or it's not blue. So it has to be red. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah, yeah. Screw green and white. We're, we're done with those as well. Yeah, please. <laughs> but yes, uh, the deck name is called Through the Fire and Flames. And I, hopefully you can guess what kind of deck it is. But before we get into it, I'll go and remind you that we do have a Patreon. It only takes a dollar to support us, and we love you very much for that. And with that deck, the champion is Dragonholt the Dragonborg. Uh, what he does is exhaust, pay one, discard a fire unit from your hand, and add one non-legendary dragon unit from your deck to your hand, which is extremely powerful, because there's a lot of, you know, the four drop one that has quickness that, that usually wins. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of really good dragons you get to go get with that, and even more now. Definitely. And of course the spirit has to be the spirit of Ursa Tovas because it's an angry bear that can do a lot of good things. So you exhaust, pay two, a target unit gets plus 1,000, and it gets if it costs four more, it has Destroyer because it needs that. Yeah. And then you can Soul Burst for some reason to save your dudes and all units you control get plus 1,000 this turn. And being able to pay two and make a Rayo Wyvern Rider have Destroyer, pretty good yeah because the women rider is already a good card yeah and you're just like ah cool kill another tower kill, great kill, kill all the towers thank you thank you very much all right so we delve into the dragons first up is glittering Welp. it is one for a 500 dagron and he arrives you may reveal two dragons from your hand if you do draw one card so little dude can help you sh see towers and draw you cards something <clears> like <throat> that and you can discard them later it's good uh scarlet egg is the next one it's a one drop 500 uh, Guardian, which is amazing, and this you, this unit cannot attack though, that's okay, but if you control two or more other dragon units, sacrifice this card, search your deck for a dragon unit, it will cost two or less and put it into play, and it doesn't have to automatically happen, it's uh, activated, so once you just care to, at one moment, be able to sack it when you have two or more out there. Next up <clears throat> is the Juvenile Dragon. He is one for a 1,000. If you control two or more, two or more other dragons, he gains quickness. So, late game, this dude is a lot better because he can come out of nowhere and just be like, hey, you're dead. Yeah. Because you can't deal with him, but otherwise he's just a kill towers early. Especially since he just costs one. That's amazing. Next one is Exploding Dragon. It's a 2 drop 1500. It has Root. Uh, deal 1000 damage to target unit. So that's good. Yeah, this dude I gave a lot less credit to before, but the more I played with that guy, the more I'm like, this dragon's really strong. Yeah, it's 1500 for two, which is strong, and yeah. then it kills a small dude for sure. Next is the Glowshard Dragon. He's two for a 1500. Other dragon units you control cannot be targeted by your opponent's spells or abilities. Pay two, expel this card from your discard zone, target dragon unit you control cannot be targeted by spells or abilities this turn. Ridiculous. So in play, he protects all your dudes passively, in the graveyard it's an active to be like hey one dude doesn't get touched which uh will overthrow the game for sure yeah next one is uh draconic summoner it's a three drop two thousand arrive put one target one dragon unit from total cost two or less from your hand into play simple simple as that yeah real strong it. two dudes for three dragon holt the bold he is four for a 2500 arrive you may reveal two dragons from your hand if you do deal a thousand to all units your opponent controls Dragon units you control cannot be targeted by your opponent's spells with cost equal to or less than the number of dragon use, units you control. So you have two cards to be like, hey, don't touch my dragons. Yeah, don't touch my dudes. Thanks. Yeah, it's uh, kind of ridiculous now when you think about it. Having an aggro deck that can protect itself. Yeah. The next one is Rayo Wyvern, Wyvern Dragon. What we just talked about, it's a four drop 1500. It has quickness and run. And when it dies, put a Rayo unit token into play that's a 1000. So it's insane. Yeah, having a 4-drop quickness that can kill any tower is yeah. super, super strong. Super strong. Uh, next up is Viamont the Crimson Guardian. He's 5 for a 3,000. Arrive if there's a destroyed fire tower, destroy target unit. So he's 5 mana, kill a dude, or I have a big dude. Yeah. He's super strong, or just one of the, like, kill a dude dudes. Oh, yeah. And also, the rider before that we just talked about, he also replaces himself when he kills a red tower out of nowhere. Yeah. So there you go. All right, Dragon Hole, Fury Unleashed. It's a five drop, 5,000, because he's an Omega unit and legendary. <clears throat> it has Destroyer, of course. But whenever this card attacks, you may put any number of units from under this card into the discard zone. If you do, for each card put into your discard zone this way, destroy target unit, augment, or shard. 
And of course, I didn't say the Omega cost, but place one or more of your dragon units underneath it. So yeah. you have five dudes, you put them all under there, you remove all five of them when you swing and destroy their shard collection, and then you just win. Yeah. Welcome back to uh, turn three. Yeah. So uh, thanks. Enjoy that. Uh, next is Bahamut, the Draconic Deity. He is eight for a 5,000 quickness. This card costs two less if you have five or more different dragons when you're like different named dragons in your discard. And arrive, expel target unit, and it deals 2,000 to each unit adjacent to it. So eight mana, well, six mana, do cost less. You're just like, cool, yeah. remove that guy, kill those two dudes, and I'm gonna kill towers. <laughs> Seems good. Seems awesome. Now we have this one called Imbued by Ashes. It's a one drop insta cast. Fire units you control get plus 500 this turn. If you control three or more fire units, draw a card. It's just a simple, hopeful cantrip that bumps up all your small dudes. Oh, yeah. Next is Molten Explosion, the card that is like my bane of life. There's two yeah. for insta cast spell. Destroy target unit with 2000 power or less. Yep. Because I always think this deals 2000 damage and it does not. No, it does not. It does not. It has to kill them. Yep. Omega Magic Kase. It's a two drop insta cast, still 1500 to target attacking or blocking unit. And then if you have two or less towers remaining, it deals 2000 damage to target unit, which is hopefully it's just, hopefully they swing with the wrong guy at the wrong time. Yeah. Pretty much. And then next up is Draconic Eruption. It is four for a spell, deal 1500 to all units your opponent controls. And if you control four or more dragon units, you may pay, you may deal 1500 to target face up tower. If they have one. So if sure. you've scouted a tower and it's still there and you and you have that, you're just like, cool, I have four dudes. Kill your thing, kill yeah. that tower. Yeah. Great. Should be good. Now, of course, uh, we have the the spirit, the spirit crystals here. And of course, we have the spirit ruby, the legendary shard that everyone needs to run no matter what. Mm -hmm. Exhaust, flip your spirit face down, destroy target unit. That's, you use that in the pinch. We have the wyvern crystal because we're using dragons. So uh, when it arrives, add target... <clears throat> Dragon unit from discard zone to your hand, and if you do, discard one card from your hand. Yeah. Simple it, as that. It, it's so strong, because it, it, it allows you to just refuel all those quickness dragons. Yep, that's it. And of course the rest is just Argon shards, for sure. Uh, it seems like a fun, insane quick deck, especially with the two dragons that protect all your dragons, which that's going to be super annoying to do. Yeah. But uh, hopefully with that, you enjoyed your stay here at Geetopia Island, and you have a good day. Goodbye! Later! Also, guys, we just remind y'all to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and if you want to keep up to date on all the future content, make sure you click that bell. It'll give you all the notifications you need. With that, we'd like to go ahead and give a big thank you to all our fans that support us through the year, and especially our Patreon support people. Uh, we do like to give a shout out to our Mythic and Above uh, supporters, and that would be Dwayne Higgs. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. We love you.